Law Philippines, on YouTube. Article 603. Usufruct is extinguished. 1. By the death of the usufructuary, unless a contrary intention clearly appears. 2. By the expiration of the period for which it was constituted, or by the fulfillment of any resolutory condition provided in the title creating the usufruct. 3. By merger of the usufruct and ownership in the same person. 4. By renunciation of the usufructuary. 5. By the total loss of the thing in usufruct. 6. By the termination of the right of the person constituting the usufruct. 7. By prescription. Article 604. If the thing given in usufruct should be lost only in part, the right shall continue on the remaining part. Article 605. Usufruct cannot be constituted in favor of a town, corporation, or association for more than 50 years. If it has been constituted, and before the expiration of such period the town is abandoned, or the corporation or association is dissolved, the usufruct shall be extinguished by reason thereof. Article 606. A usufruct granted for the time that may elapse before a third person attains a certain age, shall subsist for the number of years specified, even if the third person should die before the period expires, unless such usufruct has been expressly granted only in consideration of the existence of such person. Article 607. If the usufruct is constituted on a movable property of which a building forms part, and the latter should be destroyed in any manner whatsoever, the usufructuary shall have a right to make use of the land and the materials. The same rule shall be applied if the usufruct is constituted on a building only and the same should be destroyed. But in such a case, if the owner should wish to construct another building, he shall have a right to occupy the land and to make use of the materials, being obliged to pay to the usufructuary, during the continuance of the usufruct, the interest upon the sum equivalent to the value of the land and of the materials. Article 608. If the usufructuary shares with the owner the insurance of the tenement given in usufruct, the former shall, in case of loss, continue in the enjoyment of the new building, should one be constructed, or shall receive the interest on the insurance indemnity if the owner does not wish to rebuild. Should the usufructuary have refused to contribute to the insurance, the owner insuring the tenement alone, the latter shall receive the full amount of the insurance indemnity in case of loss, saving always the right granted to the usufructuary in the preceding article. Article 609. Should the thing in usufruct be expropriated for public use, the owner shall be obliged either to replace it with another thing of the same value and of similar conditions, or to pay the usufructuary the legal interest on the amount of the indemnity for the whole period of the usufruct. If the owner chooses the latter alternative, he shall give security for the payment of the interest. Article 610. A usufruct is not extinguished by bad use of the thing in usufruct. But if the abuse should cause considerable injury to the owner, the latter may demand that the thing be delivered to him, binding himself to pay annually to the usufructuary the net proceeds of the same, after deducting the expenses and the compensation which may be allowed him for its administration. Article 611. A usufruct constituted in favor of several persons living at the time of its constitution shall not be extinguished until the death of the last survivor. Article 612. Upon the termination of the usufruct, the thing in usufruct shall be delivered to the owner, without prejudice to the right of retention pertaining to the usufructuary or his heirs for taxes and extraordinary expenses which should be reimbursed. After the delivery has been made, the security or mortgage shall be cancelled. Law Philippines, on YouTube.